It wasn't tanks, it wasn't guns, it wasn't even soldiers. It was a typewriter that let Nazi Germany dominate Europe. Its name, Enigma. A machine so brilliant, it made German orders invisible. For the Allies, it was like fighting blindfolded. Convoys vanished, millions of lives lost. Breaking Enigma wasn't just important, it was life or death. At a country estate called Bletchley Park, a desperate plan took shape. Among the codebreakers stood a strange, brilliant man, a painfully shy mathematician, shunned by society, who would tackle Hitler's most secret weapon. His name, Alan Turing. The Allies could intercept German messages, but without cracking the Enigma code, they were just strings of nonsense, and they had only 24 hours to solve them. Every message they couldn't break in time meant lost ships, lost soldiers, and lost hope. But why was Enigma so hard to break? It looked like a typewriter, but inside it hit a moving labyrinth. Three rotors scrambled every letter. A plug board swapped them again. Every day the Germans changed the settings, creating over 150 trillion combinations. A message like attack at dawn turned into random noise, and by the next day the entire code had shifted again. The team worked day and night, but kept hitting dead ends, until Turing spotted something others missed. First, the machine never encrypted a letter as itself. Second, the Germans' habits, like daily weather reports and phrases like Heil Hitler, gave away clues called cribs. It was the breakthrough they desperately needed. Turing turned his discovery into action. He built the bomb, a machine that could test thousands of Enigma settings every minute. If it found the right one, the enemy's messages could finally be read. Not everyone in the room was sure. Then finally, the breakthrough came. The bomb was able to crack the right setting of Enigma. Allied commanders could now read German plans in real-time rerouting convoys, anticipating attacks, and secretly planning D-Day. Enigma was no longer an unbreakable fortress. The war turned, millions of lives were saved, and Alan Turing, the man once rejected by society, became a silent hero.